You know when they say you're lucky, I guess I'm lucky. Well, lucky for all. Yesterday, I was thinking of making a video of rum pairing with the M Bombay cigars and uh, just looked into my bar and could not find any of the rums that I normally drink. The bottle that I had was empty. So coming here in the morning uh, at the store at Fame, um, I get a phone call that uh, this friend of mine visited Cuba and uh, he said he has a bottle for me. I was surprised, but he handed me the Havana Club. How lucky I am. Well, today we're gonna pair the Havana, pair and review the Havana Club rum with the Mbombe Mora Toro. Cracking it up. You hear like that sound? Oh wow. Before I dive into it. Man, this is what I miss. Okay. Pour an ample couple of fingers and up. That sweet molasses. I Normally don't tend to mix anything with rum, uh, especially of this quality. Um, I've heard many people having some soda water, ice, splash of water, not me. Uh, I would rather taste for what it is and uh, enjoy it like that. So to tell you about the Havana Club. So this particular one is Aged for seven years, the molasses is aged for seven years. Molasses means the sugar cane, the pulp of sugar cane, is aged for seven years in the white oak, white oak barrels, charred white oak barrels, and uh, the result is pure heaven. Um, they have the other kinds, so a three-year-old, which is a blanco, which is like a white rum. Uh, this one, you can see the color uh, the, the golden hue, the golden nice, the sugars are really heavy, 50%, 48%, 50% ABV, um, and magnificent. The smell is so enticing, it is, wow, it's just beautiful, it's just beautiful. Vanilla, oak. Sweetness, sweetness just follows. I'm just talking about the nose right now. Before I wet my palate or taste it, I would like to light up the cigar and let's see how it pairs. So the cigar is up and just reiterating it. By the way, I'm smoking the Mbombe Mora Toro. It's six and a half, six inches long, six and a half inches long and 52 ring gauge. The tobacco that, you, that we use for the, for the Mora blend is a Dominican Corojo wrap. I guess the vintage on that is uh, from 2007. Uh, and uh, in the fillers, we are using Dominican, Peru, and slight Nicaragua in there. Um, again, our long process of aging fermenting the tobacco, it, it just adds a bit more sweetness, more smooth, more refined flavors. And that is what we are after, uh, all about flavor. So as you know that the, the, the cigar has a shaggy foot, so I'm just letting it burn through, enjoying the flavors. It's hitting the wrapper now, so I can I can I can slightly feel that spiciness coming through. The 
draw is effortless. Oh yeah. Well, the Dominican Corojo has a, has, a, has, a, has a very unique quality that what we found was it, it, you know, being very, very delicate, but it has nice structure in the sense of like that spice is coming through very nicely, very delicate, but very nice spice. The body is where the sweetness is, is a big contribution for, by the fillers. Um, Peru and... Uh, very, very creamy in my mouth. So, without further ado, first thing I would, I would, I would always recommend is do not judge the whiskey or, or the rum or whatever you're drinking on the first sip. Make your palate wet. Make your palate accustomed to it. And then have a second sip thinking about what is the flavors that you get. So, so your, your palate does not get that clash. It's, it's, it's not in shock. It's, it's, it's well tuned in. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oak, vanilla, sweetness has some like after, after, you know, sweet spice kind of like a backbone to it. It's very hard to smell alcohol, you know. Normally, you know, like rums have that, have that oomph of alcohol, the warmth of what I call, you know, like nothing in here, nothing. It's, it's just marvelous. Wow. Trying this again. It's it's there is a nice compliment thing going on. I'm tasting the cigar, I'm tasting, I still have the flavors of the rum in my mouth. It's more complimenting rather than clashing. That's what I always stress upon. It should complement. It should not, it should not be, you know, a sip of this and the, forget the flavor of the cigar and then take a toke of the cigar and then forget the flavor of the rum, no. I want to taste together. So I definitely get that both hand in hand. It's, I think this is a phenomenal period. Oh. See, after even taking a sip of this rum, you know, I can taste that, that, that spice, that subtle spice of the M. Bombay Mora. Trust me guys, if you get a chance to have the Havana Club, which I would definitely recommend, seek one. Get a friend, get a friend who can go, for, go to Cuba just for you. Yeah, but uh, legally you can bring it back um, up to like $100 worth. This bottle in Cuba is like not more than 20 bucks, so. It's a great investment, great, great drink to have. And the Mora Toro. Mora was actually uh, the second blend, or second or third blend that we, that we released in 2014. And uh, we made a couple of sizes, three sizes in that. One is a Toro, one is a 585, what we call, which is like five inches tall and uh, 58 ring gauge. And then we have the famous Mora Lancero. I have uh, given the link of 
where to find these cigars on our website and you know like to your nearest retailer so i would appreciate if you if you go there fetch it out if you have rum like this pair it with it i promise you i'll make your day have a wonderful evening have a wonderful day take care